Pokemon, one of the most popular franchises in the world, with so many games, and now we're moving on to what, the 8th gen of fucking Pokemon, 7th gen? Fucking hell, it's hard to keep track of how many Pokemon there are. There's just too many Pokemon, and Pokemon has just increased in popularity ever since its conception. It just gets more and more popular, it never tends to stop, never tends to stagnate, it's always popular. And yeah, okay, the most recent games were not received to the greatest regard, which is fair, I haven't played them and I don't plan to, because of certain issues. But one of the things that people have always asked for is for Pokemon to come to PC. Obviously, it being a Nintendo franchise, it ain't gonna happen, you know, it ain't gonna happen. But you can, you can hope. And there's other games out there, you know, there's Digimon, you got some Digimon games on PC now, that's kind of like Pokemon. You got, uh, Temtem, that's another game that's kind of like, uh, Pokemon. But bet you didn't know that there actually are some officially licensed Pokemon games on PC, but they're not what you expect. And today, we're going to be having a look at some of those officially licensed Pokemon games on PC. Let's dive right in! The first Pokemon game I'm going to be talking about today is Pokemon Play It. A game that I spent a lot of time with when I was younger, on back on my old Windows 98 PC, along with Lego Loco and Nuclear Strike. But this game is weird. And I'll tell you exactly why this game is weird, because it has that early 90s horrible CGI animation. Now look at this, look at this FMV sequence. Ugh. Ugh. This is what you're greeted, when you win, gre uh, greeted with when you boot the game up. It's lovely, isn't it? You just to see this beautiful late 90s fucking animation that just looks horrifying, if anything. Uh, brilliant. So as you can probably figure from this little animation, is that this game is based around the Pokemon trading card game, which was originally po originally released by Wizards of Coast before I think the Pokemon Company was founded and they took over the uh, the reins. So technically speaking, this is a officially licensed Pokemon game because Wizards of Coast, with p permission of Pokemon USA more than likely, may uh, get got. Uh, I think Fluid Entertainment to develop this game and release it. Now this is version 2 that I'm playing. There is, I think, quite a few, there's a few versions of this game. I don't know how many. I think, from what I can find, there's only two, but from looks of things, this game was also released uh, in, in 1999 and 2000, so I don't know. Maybe they just kept releasing version 2 over and over again. Who knows? But yes, it's ba basically the Pokemon trading card game on PC, and in all fairness, it's it's okay. It's fine, you know. Back when I was a kid, I had no clue how to play the Pokemon trading card game. And, you know, I was never one for reading the instructions when I got one, uh, one of the uh, Pokemon decks. Which was a little wild, because when I first started collecting Pokemon cards, I was getting them in booster, pa booster packs. So it was a little while before I got my first deck. So I, me and my friends had, and they were the same, they just got booster packs. And me and my friends were like, we had no fucking clue how to play the game. We were like, well, how do you fucking play this? And, uh, I actually learned how to play the Pokemon trading card game from this game. This game taught me how to play it. There's a, lot, there's a few different stages. You've got a uh, basic, uh, advanced, and then I think an intermediate, advanced, or whatever. And on the basic level, you, uh, well, the starter level, you learn how to play the game. So, yeah, not too bad to, to, to learn how to play the game. I think, I, you know, if you were playing this game, doing a complete long play of this game, you'd probably complete it within an hour, but still, that's not too bad. Back in the day, this was uh, something I believe that you got free, because if I remember correctly, my copy was, I received free in a magazine, so that wasn't too bad to get something like this back in a, a magazine. But yeah, as, a, as, as an actual game, it's fine. It's really dated. But you were able to play the Pokemon trading card game, and you were able to play it fairly well. It actually has a, quite a fair amount of cards in this game, with some very interesting battle cries. Just just go on YouTube and type in the uh, the Pokemon Play It Pokemon Cries, and uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's some definitely interesting ones in there. The other thing that this game has is a uh, is a uh, like a little like subsection, an extras section on the disc, which allows you to try a bunch of different things, including a quiz. 
And yeah, I got 10 out of 10 on the quiz, you know, because I am the I am the man with the Pokemon knowledge. But in all fairness, I've been following Pokemon since a very young age, and I still follow it now. I still am interested in Pokemon. Pokemon uh, Blue version was the very first video game I ever played, so Pokemon holds a very special place in my heart. But uh, Pokemon could do better, especially in recent years. But uh, yeah, Pokemon Play It is definitely a game you should play. If you're a fan of Pokemon, definitely play it. It works on Windows 10. You got to do a bit of a bit of fiddling about, but if you're more interested, if you want to know how to make it, you know, make sure it works, go check out my video of me playing this on Bio in the Shadow Realm. You know, that's not a plug or nothing. I'm just saying I, I go through the whole entire process of uh, how to get this running on Windows 10 without any issues. So uh, yeah, Pokemon play it. Pretty good. The next game I'm going to be talking about is another game that I'm very familiar with, that I played a lot of as a kid, because I actually have the game. I actually have also a nice copy of Pokemon Play It still, somewhere up in the loft, and this is Pokemon Project Studio Red and Blue versions. And it's basically Photoshop, or an advanced version of Paint, but with Pokemon. Yeah, it's kind of funny actually. So you can create like greeting cards and uh, playing cards, stationery, birthday cards, whatever, whatever you want. You can create it on here as long as it's stationary based. And that's what this program is. It's actually quite funny <laughs> how uh, how I was. this game still works. This is uh, just like Pokemon Play It. This is a very old Pokemon game. And I believe these, these Pokemon Project Studios only came out in Europe. So, yeah. But yeah, it's pretty much just a, a real kind of bare-bones uh, Photoshop kind of program with Pokemon in it. Like, it, there's more features of what you can do than I believe Paint has, I think, at least. But I just had a little fun playing around, doing some stupid shit in this. And yeah, it's just it's a lot of fun back in the day when you could just piss about. I could never print any of these out, for obvious reasons, back then. You didn't really, back in the old uh, late 90s, early 2000s, you know, you didn't really have a at-home printer, you know, so you had to go somewhere to get something printed, at least for me and my family anyway, so, but yeah, Pokemon Project Studio, red and blue versions, you know, pretty cool, pretty, you know, pretty cool for back in the day, I guess, and, um, but yeah, I would say, uh, you know, if you ever want to have a go, and curious or anything, yeah, it's worth having a go. Once again, works on Windows 10. Again, if you're interested, buy on the Shadow Realm. I always find it funny how you can have, to have a lot of fun off of, like, some really old games. Like, with these old Pokemon games on PC, even though they're quite dated, and yeah, you may still have a lot of nostalgia for them, I have a lot of fun with them. Pokemon Masters Arena, on the other hand, which I never played before, and is a big gap between, you know, the next officially licensed Pokemon game on PC, which I'm pretty sure this game was uh, released as an extra with a magazine, similar to Pokemon Play It. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> it is a bunch of really shitty mini games that you could probably find on Mini Clip or Newgrounds, just based around Pokemon. You have Mudkip's little Pokeball flinging thing. You have like, find whoa, well, what Pokemon's name can you make with all the letters here? Oh, what's this? You have to, like, match up what Pokemon is to the question, what's the second evolution of Goldeen? Well, that's got to be Sea King. And that's basically what Pokemon uh, Masters Arena is. It's not really anything to do with Masters or anything to do with an arena. It is just a collection of shitty minigames. And that is, you know, that is exactly it. With Pokemon Play It, this shit was an extra. It wasn't the main event, it was an extra. With this, it's the main event. Why would you, you know, I guess if you got this in a magazine, fine, but why would you? Why would you, why would you? You put this in your PC, you'd play it for all of, I don't know, five minutes and go, wow, this is shit, and then never play it again. Whereas Pokemon Play It and Pokemon Project Studio, you'd, I, I put a lot of hours into playing them. But yeah, so you got like, uh, like eight or so mini games you can play. They're all fucking shit. That's just the truth. The one with the most effort put into it seems to be the Mudkip one, or the, well, not the Mudkip one, the, um, what is it? Why not? I fucking forget some of the newer Pokemon names. The Why Not um, mini game where you're throwing Pokeballs, but everything else is just kind of really basic and boring. You got slide puzzles and jigsaw puzzles and shit in here as well. It's just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pokemon Masters Arena is fucking horrible. 
And finally, we have Pokemon Team Turbo, whose quality is the same as Masters Arena. Yep, it's another shitty video game with a bunch of mini games, and that's all it is. And it, they're poor. Here's, here's a really shitty budget version of Tetris. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? So yeah, this game, Team Turbo, again, I don't know what the fucking title is about, but um, yeah, it's just a bunch of shitty mini games again, similar to Masters Arena. Probably even worse mini games this time around, you know? That kind of doesn't even work, in a way. Like this one, it's like, I can see Ninjask. Why can't I select it? Don't really know. Ah, uh, uh, you know, you want the same thing? Remember, yeah, this was in the, uh, this was in Masters Arena. Yeah, fucking, get straight back to main menu, fuck that shit. What's this? Oh, fucking crossword puzzle? Arcanine, Arcanine revolves from Growlithe. But then you type Growlithe in and you realize, oh shit, I have to spell it correctly, and um, how the fuck am I supposed to fucking know how to spell Pokemon's names? You're fucking lucky I can spell it, spell any Pokemon name at all. And then there's the creme de la creme, this. Just fucking look at this, what the fuck is this? What is this? Is a, there's a race mode where you pick a Pokemon and rate and you you race in orbs, in fucking orbs. You collect those letters and it gives you a boost. There's fucking orbs. I have nothing more to say on this. Just fucking orbs. Yeah, Team Turbo, fucking P just as bad as Masters Arena. Shit. So there we go, that's all of the officially licensed Pokemon games I have for you today on PC. To think, yeah, all along, all this time, you had Pokemon games on PC. Official ones. Maybe not the ones you want, but... <laughs> In all fairness, I have nothing against Pokemon Play It. Pokemon Play It was a good, lo a good amount of fun when I was younger, and I actually got through, I went, played through the entire game, um, multiple times when I was a kid, back on my old Windows 90, 98 PC. Uh, with Pokemon Project Studio, I spent a lot of time just pissing about in that. But, obviously, I didn't print anything, I just messed around in it. Obviously, I probably didn't put as much time in on that that as I did with Pokemon Play It. But, jumping from one era to another, Pokemon Masters Arena and Team Turbo were a massive disappointment. They're just a collection of minigames, the same kind of shitty minigames that you could probably find online during the uh, time that these games were released which was mid-2000s. It's ridiculous. But uh, anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. Did you play any of these Pokemon games when you were, uh, you were a kid? Let me know. I'll be, uh, be curious to know what you, uh, what you played and if, what you thought of them. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm Bio, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.